In the last session from this lesson, we learned uh, what it would sound like to leave a really compelling voicemail, right? An urgency voicemail for a prospect or a BBAC who is interested in a new car, right? We told them about the incentives ending. Now we're gonna talk about what really should be the meat of your appointment-driven culture, and that's to drive appointments with your owner database. So these are people who've bought from you in the past, your sold customers, or people who've serviced with you, your serviced customers. And right now, this is how those calls go, your owner marketing calls in your dealership, if you're a typical dealer. See, your team's not making those calls, right? They're checking off in the CRM tool that they're making the calls, but they're not. But now let's say, no, no, Steve, we know our team makes those calls, right? So here's what they're doing. They make the call, they get voicemail, they hang up. Voicemail. They put the word voicemail in your CRM, like that's supposed to mean something. No, no, Steve, we leave a voicemail every time. In fact, we make sure that our team leaves a voicemail every time because we listen to them. Okay, great, so here's what it sounds like then. Oh, I got voicemail, okay. Hi, Bob, it's Steve Stalling calling from Century Toyota. Hey, listen, I hope you really like your 2011 Camry. Hey, listen, next time you're in for service, stop by and say hello. Bye now. What's the goal of that call? Build rapport? build goodwill, all of those things are worthless. See, the goal of that call should have been to drive an appointment or to create a callback that from that callback we can set the appointment. So here's one other thing that your team might be doing and you might think this is the right thing to do. Hi Bob, it's Steve Stawning calling from Century Toyota. I want to let you know we've got some great deals on closeout Camrys this month. Why don't you give me a call back at 555-1212. Thanks, bye. Great deals on closeout Camrys, hmm, sounds wonderful. See, you can't sell me a car over the phone. It's not gonna happen. You're certainly not gonna sell me a car over voicemail. These voicemails have one goal, to drive a call back. Once we get them on the phone, we have one goal, and that's to get an appointment that shows. So now let's listen how that 36-month anniversary call should go. Oh, I got voicemail. By the way, why am I teaching you voicemails? Because nine times out of 10, you're going to get voicemail. And so we wanna leave a nice, compelling voicemail that gets them to compels them to call us back, right? Okay, got voicemail. Hi, Bob, this is Steve Stawning calling back from Century Toyota. Listen, I'm calling about your 2011 Camry you bought from us a few years ago. Yeah, those really are a great car. And, and listen, they're almost impossible to get at auction right now. In fact, my general manager asked me to call you today to see if you'd be interested in selling yours back to us. You know, we're paying way above book price, and you know what? We'll buy yours even if you don't buy anything from us. Anyway, Bob, please call me back so that we can schedule time for written appraisal on your 2011 Camry. My number is 555-1212. Once again, that's 555-1212. And don't worry, Bob, if you can't reach me right away. I'm gonna try you again later. Thanks and talk to you soon. Just like in the prospect call that we left earlier, we're gonna highlight our persistence. See, right now your team has an anniversary call if you even have one scheduled. If they're even making the call, it's one call this month, and then I'm not gonna call them again for six months. That's not gonna get the job done, and it's not gonna allow us to get to a 1,000 quality calls per salesperson, right? So what we're gonna do for our 36-month anniversary calls is we're gonna schedule five, maybe even 10 calls in the same month until we reach that person. And we're gonna have five or 10 voicemails written, different voicemail scripts, and we're gonna leave a different script each time we call. So let's say we schedule five calls for the 36 month anniversary call. We're gonna call on Monday, we're gonna call Wednesday, we're gonna call Friday, we're gonna call next Tuesday, and we're gonna call next Thursday. That's gonna be our five calls. So we're gonna call them five times over about a 10 or 12 day period. And we're gonna call until we reach them. And once we reach them, we're gonna to try to set the appointment. That's the goal of the anniversary call because we know when we set that appointment with an owner, we're gonna close them 60% of the time, we're gonna close them at higher grosses.